what's up guys so uh, this is actually the second time filming uh, this video um, and it's actually not gonna be this video I'll explain why uh, right now uh, basically you guys were supposed to be getting a ring video filing the rings uh, putting the piston rings onto the Wiseco pistons um, and unfortunately I screwed up and I grinded off way too much um, of the actual piston ring and so uh, I just had to order two more replacement set rings um, replacement ring sets uh, just in case it happens again and uh, I also ordered a manual uh, ring filing tool that way you know it's just a lot easier and not I don't really have to worry too much about it uh, grinding off too much so uh, that kind of screwed up today's plans because um, I did plan on showing you guys the the filing of the rings and putting the rings on these pistons but that did not happen so so sorry this is just another quick little update video though before I guess this build series starts uh, I did get the uh, bearings in their Clevite 77 bearings standard size um, as per the machine shop and those are in just got those in today um, as I already told you guys, I already have the rods right here. I uh, already have the S366 turbo. Got some uh, gasket maker, ARP head studs, uh, full gasket kit, OEM Nissan timing chain kit. Um, I don't have the head gasket yet. That should be here on Monday, uh, possibly Tuesday at the latest. Um, so uh, also blitz back there just chilling being a good boy i know one of you guys asked where was he so uh so yeah anyway that's that um also have the polished crank right here i got the plastic gauge kit um i will also be making a video with this in it uh the machine shop already did all the clearances and stuff but this is just basically just to check their work so if you did not have your stuff taken to a machine shop i would definitely not use a plastic gauge kit because it's not the most accurate thing uh it's simply just for me to kind of check and you know see if it's good so um was gonna do that uh today as well but i kind of got pushed back so uh like i said guys so sorry about that i really did plan on having a video for you guys today um but really i, I guess just kind of bet on the build uh starting next week sometime um i should have like i said i've already ordered all the piston ring sets and everything so i should have all that stuff by the middle of next week today's friday uh, Friday the 27th so so yeah once those get in I will make another video uh, and I'm not gonna screw up this time because I know uh, know what I'm doing and I'm not using that thing that just grinds off way too much so um, that's the plan I've numbered these pistons and uh, they are ready to go um, also I don't know if I told you guys in this video I don't think I did uh, I did decide on piston ring gap I'm gonna be running 0.020 uh, for the top ring and then 0 0.022 for the second ring so um you know a little bit a little bit of clearance because of the the high boost and i don't want anything to get too hot and crack with a with a lower uh gap so or smaller gap um even though that is not very that's not a huge gap that's kind of what's uh normal for like a boosted engine but um so yeah uh let me know down in the comments below though what you guys want me to film uh, you know as far as like the assembly of the block assembly of the head whatever um, I'm gonna try to film as much as I can um, it's probably not gonna be as in-depth as the 1JZ video was because I just don't have that much time um, but it still should be pretty in-depth in and uh, if there's something that you like a lot of you guys want to see then I can definitely kind of try to like focus more on that alright so anyway that's it for this video just wanted to give you guys an update I didn't want to uh, just leave you guys hanging again um, but uh, that's the that's the reason why no good video today. So get stoked guys. It's gonna be sick come next week uh, Pretty much everything's gonna start next week. So um, at all the assembly I sh it shouldn't take me long to assemble the whole engine once I have all the parts uh, Really the rings and the clearances and stuff. That's what takes like a while just because you have to you know repeat it multiple times um, but uh, once I finish that it's pretty much boom 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 knock it out it shouldn't take long I've done like three of these so uh, you know within literally a day I should probably be able to get the, the motor assembled um, I might split it up into a couple days definitely a couple videos uh, yeah so anyways guys I'm gonna leave this video uh, shut out right now <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop this video right now because uh, I'm just rambling. But, uh, yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.